opening turn of events tonight in the case of a man accused of sexually assaulting and then killing his eight-month-old baby girl. He's about to be released from jail. 7 Action News reporter Curtis Jackson live tonight to explain why. Curtis. Well, Stephen, James Salt Marshall II is still behind bars here at the Wayne County Jail tonight, but he won't be for long. His ordered release pending trial, even outraging his mother. This, this never happened. Salt Marshall, who wept uncontrollably during his last court appearance, will soon be a free man. Prosecutors say they need more time to investigate and gather forensic evidence. So the judge is releasing Salt Marshall on his own recognizance. Even his mother, who spoke exclusively with 7 Action News, doesn't agree with that decision. This should not be taken lightly that he's out. Saul Marshall was staying with the baby in this Inkster motel. He called 911 last week to say she fell, hit her head, and wasn't breathing. Investigators say she had injuries consistent with a sexual assault. At times, we create monsters. And I may have created one of those monsters. Salt Marshall says her granddaughter's mother, who has not been charged, was also staying in the same room. She was at work when Salt Marshall called for help and has since defended him on social media. I'm not, I'm not understanding the Bonnie and Clyde relationship. I, I, I don't understand it. And I think that um, both of them should be held until. Salt Marshall's father declined to speak on camera, but confirmed his son will be released with a GPS tether. Salt Marshall must also avoid contact with children. His mother warns those conditions won't keep her son out of trouble. If you tell him to go right, he's going to go left. He's not going to follow those rules. It could take a few days for Salt Marshall to receive that GPS tether. Should he violate any of the conditions of his release, he will be put back behind bars and held on a $2 million bond. Live in Detroit tonight, Curtis Jackson, 7 Action News.